Hello everyone and welcome to another uh, solo um, Avalon playthrough. This time we're going to be on our hunter and just as the title says we're going to be going boom booms. <laughs> so let's go over the build a little bit here. We have gamblers, dodge, triple jump, knife trick for our knives, trip mine grenade, uh, knock them down. Let's see here. Real quick, uh, knock them down with on your mark. Uh, the reason is because I can have these five fragments here. You could go with um, gunpowder gamble, but this can kill you. <laughs> so if you're trying to go for flawless, this is a little bit safer route going with on your mark. Uh, fragments are embers of ashes, blistering, resolve, uh, singeing, and searing. And I'm using the exotic. Um, with a horde, with um, Callus mini tool, and then fixed odds for my LMG. And then this is all pairing with the young Hamkara spine, which increases abilities for um, trip mine grenades and all that fun stuff. So, yeah, let's get started. I have done a few runs with gum. Um, Gunpowder Gamble, and we can get our abilities much quicker. But I did kill myself a few times just because there were some ads that came running at me with the thing and I was shooting right in mid and, or I, it was not tossed to me like quite uh, far away from me and I misjudged the distance. So yeah, I have killed myself quite a few times and all that. Uh, let's go over the mods that I have, oops, sorry, mods that I have for this build. Two times ashes to assets, uh, impact induction, uh, melee attacks reduce our cooldown. So we're trying to get our grenades as fast as possible. So anything that will spur that on, uh, fire power, two times void resist because we are going against Vex, uh, auto solar holster, uh, absolution, intervention, um, and a font of restoration just so we can get some healing back possible and then two times bomber and all that and if you didn't quite get that just check in the link in the description down below and there's a dim link so you can copy that over and try it out yourself so this is going to be a different type of playthrough than my warlock one because we don't have a well so we're going to be sort of running around more, um, running around the map a little bit more. And so um, there are going to be times where I'll have to concentrate a little bit more. So I won't have to do, uh, won't have as much um, talking points, but I'll try to do my best. We're going to just try sticking around here if possible. The reason is so we can Avoid the snipers, because the snipers are nasty. Okay, diamond square. again nice all right so the idea why we won in grenades mainly is yes because grenades are going to be our main primary form of damage but the way we have it is um the grenades actually heal us this is the only way we can actually get um some healing back so it's cure which is the proc that it does so that's why <laughs> Um, my brain is sort of going all million miles a minute because I'm trying to stay alive, try to get commentary. And I think I hit a triangle, actually. Somehow that did not fail it. I'm okay with that. And that is square. Yep. Alright. The only part that was a little bit troublesome for me um, was the second boss because there are times where I'm trying to get um, the moats 
and there's not enough or they're just too many ads it yeah but it's definitely doable definitely possible I'm trying to get the sniper out of the way because the spot where I'm going to be hanging out in is going to be in line of sight of where those ads are um those snipers will be or would have been which is right here Okay, let's LMG this bad boy. Cool. We're gonna let our um, solar holster uh, reload our LMG. That's the main reason why we have that guy. I'm saving my super. If you notice, I haven't popped my super. It's because there's gonna be a big mob density of ads that'll be spawning after this little wave here. And I want to be able to clear it so I can go into my little safe area. So as soon as I kill these guys here. Yeah, let's win. Okay, so now here's the group. Right there. I could have, um, I actually should have swapped over to the top part. Give myself a little bit more breathing room. But it is what it is. It's, um, you have to sort of learn to adapt on the fly with these type of um, things. Even though you practice quite a bit. All right, we have diamond square. And again, if um, you it disappears visually for you, you can still shoot where they were at. In case you're wondering why I was able to still get the kill right there, as you saw, like visually it left us, but we were still able to get it. Now this part here is going to be a little tricky. Square, square, diamond, diamond. Great. Right. Go back to our app. Square. Square, diamond. Nope. Oh. Now, I think it's double diamond, right? I think so. Yeah. I try to avoid having to go back, but sometimes you have to. Alright. Double diamond. And we should be able to go to the last part, which is a little bit more tricky. Alright, again, I am saving my super because there's a harp, uh, like a wavern, that's going to be spawning once we clear this room here. And I want to make sure I have that for the clear. And I'm not going to kill those snipers because, again, they will respawn diamond square. Diamond, where? Cool. Get our little cure in. Jump over all diamonds. Perfect. Again, throwing my grenade so I can get some healing while I'm running through the ads. There we go. All diamonds. And then my goal is to do a Titan run. So, for you Titans out there, don't worry. <laughs> I am planning on doing all classes, so this might be a little bit helpful for those trying to uh, get get a clear solo run. This might be helpful for you. All right, we got a bit of add density here, which is great because we can just start spamming our abilities. Great. Now we're waiting for that. There you go. Wavering is coming. Let's get our cure back up. There we go. Let's get those snipers out of the way. Ooh, okay. Back up a little bit. Get some heals. We got we pushed a little too far, but that's okay though. We're good. Grenade is gonna do work. We're already halfway to our super, which is great. And so our um, stacks are going. There we go. All right, let's get out of the way. Nice. And done. 
There's going to be another Wavern, but it's not going to be as hectic as that one. There we go. Tagged you. We can blast you. Out of the way. Nice. Now we can breathe a little bit as we go on to the next phase of the fight. Um, again, you have to still be careful with these guys because random things has always happened when you're trying to do a solo run. And I'm not sure why my wither was not shooting. Okay. These doors can actually kill you, believe it or not, so you always, if you want to, just take it nice and easy, you can. Alright, get this guy. Wait for the cycle to go. Nice. I usually like to jump when it disappears. That way, it, um, w w the time I'm able to land, it should appear for me. And I always push myself into the corner here. That way, um, it's guaranteed I would hit right there. Also, push yourself against these so you can actually get into the cycle correctly. Now here, there's a pause right here because I see a lot of people pushing forward and they die instantly. But if you notice, there's a little edge here. And so it shows where the box is going to spawn at or move. So if you just wait a little bit, you can just take your time with that. All right, so this boss here is going to be annoying. Um, well, actually, no, not the boss itself. It's um, There's the easy hide in a um, little area. You'll be fine. But getting the two phases to get to the point, um, getting to 10 and 12 at times can be a little bit crazy. So hopefully we can get this. And again, you just have to be able to adapt with um, your strategies. This is like my strategy right here to go, but sometimes I have to move out of the way. The reason I like this area is because I can avoid the snipers. It's a great spot for this, but sometimes it doesn't work. All right, I think I have eight. Sometimes the buffs on your screen does is not helpful for you. I'm saving my super because I want to Tag this wavern. There we go. Okay, we're good. Phase one complete for um, sub phase, I would say. <laughs> because we have to do this one more time, then we'll do damage to the boss for the first part. And then we'll have to wait for the next part to go on. So we'll wait for these guys to spawn in. They'll start flowing towards us. There's going to be a guy behind us here. Always, um, there's going to be a guy behind you. So always make sure you're prepared for that. Here they start coming. Alright, I'm throwing my grenade. That way I can get my cure in. If you see there. I think I have enough. Yeah, I have... Okay, we're getting a little bit crazy here. That should done. Cool. All right, now we're into the first part of the boss fight. All right, should be as I said. Um, getting to the boss part to be able to do damage to him is easy, but getting the moats 
can be tricky. Gonna throw mine right there because I know there's a spawn there. That will happen. Just wither a horde up there and you can just pretty much uh, sit pretty right here. As they're not going to, there's going to be two or three that come hit, um, hit to your right, but you can easily kill them. But like they all focus here, where you can just easily uh, chill. Don't really need to worry about anything else. Yep, just kill that guy right there. Dodge. Get that. Nice. All right. Now we just play cleanup duty. Going to wait for... Going to hang on to my super. Alright, I'm going to pop these snipers here. That way clears up for me. Alright, we're in the next phase of the fight. Here we go. Get some cure in. With a horde shot in. That should zone some guys out there. Good. Heal up a little bit because I'm getting blasted right now. Alright, I need one more. All right, we actually have time now, which is good. Uh, let me blast that guy. All right, we have 10 seconds. Let's go ahead and jump down. Oh, nice. We we tied that waiver. Nice, let's go. <laughs> All right. That was actually a good cycle right there. That was a good cycle. Now we just do it one more time. This 12, 12 motes can be tricky. This is where the tricky part can happen if you're not careful. But there's a guy coming and running at me here. I get that for my first moat. Zoning there. Let's get like some cure in. There we go. Yeah, let's get that going. I think we're fine. We're at 12. Yeah, look at that. Oh, we got a target. Quick, quick, quick. Nice. And one more second. Boom, we're home free. Yay. Nice. All right. I can't say that was easy, but... We did it. <laughs> yeah, but if, uh, as I said in the beginning, is that if you wanted to go with, um, Gun, um, gunpowder gamble. You definitely is definitely doable. You just have to be watching your explosions and make sure you're not going to kill yourself. This this just is a safer route. Um, you won't be able to get your abilities as much, so you're more focused on gun play versus ability spamage. But it still is definitely doable. And you don't actually need Wither Horde for uh, this fight, to be honest. You can just um, wait for your abilities to come back. Or you just use your um, incandescent um, guns. Alright, there we go. Alright, now I'm going to show you a bit of a skip that you can do. So if you come over here, jump down here, climb up, and then just run, jump as far as you can. You'll jump down to this here, 
And bop. Bop. The reason I wanted to jump once because I didn't want to, because we have triple jumps for hunters. I didn't want to consume those two because I needed every single inch of a jump I needed. But yeah, that's a bit of a skip there. Um, we'll see if Bungie actually patches that later or are they just going to keep it in. We'll see. But if you don't move and all that, you will definitely hurt yourself, but hopefully you don't kill yourself. <laughs> All right, this part here for the boss can be tricky, at least when I ran it. Uh, reason being is that he can do weird stomps like that. That was close. Also, waverns are no joke. So you want to get them out if possible. There you go. Nope. Oh, missed. I like to try to save my super for dude. So like go hit him with the mine. That gets him almost to half. Almost. Go. Alright. Sweet. Next part here. Also fire. He hasn't done fire on me yet, but consider that a blessing. Let's tag this Wavern. There's fire. Okay, that cure definitely helped us. As you saw there, my health was very low. Nice. Wavering down. Oh, there's another one. Yay. Nice. She got incandescent. We'll get a cure on. Let's go. Oop. Missed that. We almost have our super again, which is good. Then we can blast him again. Yeah, this one you have to move around the map. Cool. I'll blast him at you. Cool. That, that was not quite necessary, but I would say um, just for um, security. Make sure that's there. Clean up ads. I could have run through the portal, but again, I'm trying to play it nice and safe. You know. But if you're trying to speed run in um, this, you're more than welcome to. Also, if you have anti-barrier, uh, you can pop through that shield there. We don't have anti barrier for this one, but it's definitely a thing you can do. Alright, priority are these two waverns because they will definitely mess you up. Fire, but you should be fine. That's about to go away. Nice. Cyclopses are actually not too big of an issue, believe it or not. Is actually the waverns that uh, in the fire, if you're not careful, not uh, aware of your surroundings, are the big issue. I'm going to keep that guy alive. Um, the harpy that's up there on the top. The reason is so I can dodge and get my melee back. Alright, so box is here. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. Square diamonds. Alright. Now, if you stand right here, right here, where I'm standing, you pretty much are not immune, but you can sort of like just protect yourself, and then if you need to, just throw a grenade back there. Get a cure, but for the most part, if you move forward a little bit, you shouldn't need to... Uh, actually, they're trying to prove me wrong right now. Oh, that's why. You get that Cyclops out of the way. Bad. There we go. 
But again, you don't need to rush this. Unless you're trying to speedrun it. Just take your time. We have our super. We sort of need to get our... Uh, we need, there we go. We have our... Um, trip mine. Because what I like to do is I like to trip mine, then super. Just to get some extra damage in. There we go. Cool. Alright, we jump up here. Hopefully you don't fire me. Oh, you are going to fire me. Good damage there. Get you. Watch the fire. Oh, this is a good damage cycle. That was a good damage cycle. Let's go. Oh, I'm missing. No. Oh, that was such a good damage cycle. That was such a good damage cycle. I am sad now. I missed everything. But yeah, if you if you can do that over and over again, you're golden. I'm sad now. That's okay though. All right, we have definitely the stuff to. Why her is mine with a horde net? I've been noticing when I I think I sw I'm swapping too fast or something because sometimes the delay. I'm needing the cure. Uh, cure, please. No. All right. I guess no cure. Diamond, uh, three diamonds with two squares. Okay. Three diamonds, two squares. There we go. Three diamonds, two squares. And we have diamond square. One more. We're cool. We have our trip mines. We can we can pretty much uh, trip mine him. I'm going to save my super if possible. There we go. That pushes him out. Nice. Now we just have these little remnants of guys. Again, taking nice and slow. I'm not trying to rush it. Uh, I actually want to get uh, more with a herd, um, with the horde shots, if possible. So there we go. Gets me some. Uh, I think I saw some heavy on the ground, or it could be no. That's an Ingram. Dang it. Okay, 200 and, uh, okay, there we go. We got some heavy on that. Nice. All right, this one, the boss is going to be running around the map, so I'm going to concentrate just a little bit if possible. And GG's. Ooh, okay, that was a little bit close, but there you go. Solar Hunter Flawless. <laughs> Rakion is doomed to be recreated forever. Hunting for a trespasser who no longer exists. Alright, if you enjoyed that, thank you so much. And I'll be looking for that next Titan build. Or, not build, but video.
Laters. <laughs>